The little monk caught a frog, he tied a rope around it, and watched the frog drag the stone, he laughed heartily, a poisonous snake approached, the little monk was not afraid, he reached out and grabbed it, he laughed and grabbed the snake's head, he also tied a stone, and grabbed a small fish, also tied to a stone, the fish couldn't swim anymore, the little monk was overjoyed, the master came over, witnessed everything, but he didn't stop him, he tied a big rock to his pupil while he was sleeping, he tied a big stone to him as well, the next morning, the little monk bent over, with a sad face, he begged the master to untie him, but the master told him, to untie the animals first, if they died, he would have to carry a stone for the rest of his life, so the little monk climbed the mountain with the stone on his back, he found the frog under a crack in the rock, although it couldn't swim anymore, but it was still alive, he gently picked up the stone, and gently let the frog go, after releasing the frog, the frog came back to life, but when he found the snake, it was already dead, the fish in the water also died from lack of oxygen, the little monk was grief stricken, he didn't realize that his mindless fun was harming lives, the master saw it all, he remained silent, because the disciple realized his mistake, he has sincerely repented, in the blink of an eye, ten years have passed, the young monk had grown into a young monk, when he saw two snakes having sex, he smiled a little, the light of desire in his eyes, a sick girl accompanied by her mother went to the mountain, they prayed to the Buddha at the temple, the girl was very weak, she needed to heal in front of the Buddha, the temple stands in the middle of the river, the only way to get around is by boat, the mother left on the boat, the girl stayed behind, at night, the girl sleeps on her right side, with the invisible wall between them, the young monk slept on the left side with his master, he had never seen a woman before, so after the master fell asleep, he'd always peek at them unconsciously, on weekdays, the girl would sit in the doorway, looking at the distant landscape, the young monk came up and said he couldn't do the stone lion, it's disrespectful to the gods, the girl walked away, the monk rubbed the stone lion, a warmth passed through his hands, while praying, the girl fell asleep, the young monk came over, he covered her with a blanket, looking at the girl's face, the young monk drew nearer in fascination, the monk lifted the quilt, his right hand slowly enters, the girl woke up with a start, she slapped him hard, the monk came to his senses, kneeling in front of the Buddha, he kept repenting, the girl realized that she had hit him too hard, she apologized and touched the monk's face, the master came in, the girl quickly withdrew her hand, she left in silence, the little monk was also silent, hurriedly picked up the wooden fish, his mind was already in a state of confusion, after a few days together, their relationship gradually eased, they often went to the bottom of the mountain in a small boat, looking at the girl's slender figure, the young monk couldn't help but be tempted, he climbed up to the top of the rock to secretly observe the girl, but because he was too fascinated, he fell into the water, the rush of the river did not wake him up, instead, he raised his hand and touched the girl's cheek, the girl pushed him down angrily, but in her heart, she felt a different kind of emotion, in order to be cured, the girl had to drink herbs every day, the young monk would also pound the herbs himself, after boiling it, he would bring it to her, because it was bitter, the girl looked embarrassed, the little monk was also very distressed, once the girl sat on a stone statue without realizing it, when the monk saw her, he asked her to leave, because it was disrespectful to the gods, but now he doesn't care about respect, he carefully wiped the statue clean, then he moved to the door, to enjoy the view with the girl, that night, when the master was asleep, the young monk could no longer restrain himself, worried about disturbing the master, he did not open the door, but went straight through the invisible wall, the next morning the master realized something was wrong, he took a chicken and threw it onto the boat, then he slowly pulled it back, on the boat lay the girl and the disciple who had broken his vow, but the master didn't say anything, he just quietly opened the plug, soon the water flooded in, they woke up with a start, the young monk then realized that his desire for sex would lead to death, he kept apologizing, the master didn't say anything, he only said that the girl's health had improved, she should leave as soon as possible, he told him that he was only trying to break their relationship, but it's not easy to break the bonds of love in this world, the girl left, the young monk's heart went with her, late at night when the master was asleep, he left quietly with the statue on his back, he decided to return to the world for the girl, and so he entered the world of the living, a few years later, the old monk sat at the door, his hair had turned gray, suddenly his eyes fell on a corner of a newspaper, a wanted notice was written on it, a 30 year old man is at large for the murder of his wife, the old monk recognized his disciple at once, he couldn't help but sigh, as if he had predicted the outcome, a few days later a man pushed open the door of the temple, he and she looked blankly at the master, the master welcomed him with a smile, master and disciple sat down together, although Although he already knew the outcome, but he asked his pupil if she was happy in Chinshu, the man was furious, he said his only sin was love, he only wanted to be with him for the rest of his life, but she chose someone else, so in a fit of anger, he killed her, the master said slowly, things are unpredictable, if you like something, someone else will like it too, there's nothing wrong with love, but the accompanying possessiveness is the root of evil, but men are even crazier, still unable to recognize his own faults, he returned the statue, and underneath was the bloody knife stained with red dust, a man seals his five orifices, to atone for his sins, but the paper is crumpling, obviously he is still not firm enough, at that moment, the master came in, he whipped him hard, and hanged him up high, he made him confess the sin of killing his wife in front of the Buddha, the candles slowly burned the rope, the man suffered too, 
Finally, the rope snapped, he fell heavily, the man gripped the dagger and cut off his hair, he wanted to become a monk again, outside the door, the master wrote a sutra with a cat pen, he told his pupil, it's not easy to kill a living being, it's even harder to kill yourself, if you are truly repentant, then carve the sutra, every word you carve, will remove a trace of evil thoughts, the sutra is right in front of you, but the man was restless, at that moment, the police who were chasing him arrived, the man panicked, but the master shouted at him, he told him to continue carving, and begged the officer to let him finish carving before he left, the officer agreed, so he waited by the side, when the master and apprentice were not paying attention, the police slowly raised their guns, they aimed at the bottle, they kept shooting, but they never hit it, the old monk picked up a stone, and hit it just right, in the middle of the night, the man was still carving, the police lit a candle for him, he stays by his side without saying a word, everything was so quiet at that moment, even his heart was quiet, the next morning, all the sutras were carved, the man said goodbye to the master and left, but no matter how the police officer slides, the boat remained motionless, the man turned his head in surprise, the master waved goodbye, the boat finally set sail, after the three of them left, the door without walls slowly closed, the boat automatically floated back, watching his disciple atone for his sins, the old monk realized that he had failed to teach him properly, he calmly wrote down the word closed and got on the boat, he closed his seven orifices, when the candle lit the wood, the old monk died, a few years later, the door without walls opened again, the man was released from prison, he opened the door slowly with a heavy prayer, he saw the master's robe neatly arranged, there was a small snake coiled on it, the man knew his master was gone, he changed into this old and tattered robe, then he went to the boat, he chiseled through the ice, took out the master's relics, and carved a statue of Buddha, like a relic embedded in the hall of seal, in the days to come, the men practiced hard here, just like the master, seems to be completely detached from the world,